Well, tonight marks the start of Halloween weekend. You might be headed out to the, the big pumpkin patch tomorrow. In Annapolis this weekend, there are some pumpkins you can't take home. <laughs> WMAR 2 News Jack Watson shows us tonight. Jack? I was walking in Annapolis early one night when my eyes beheld an orange sight. For this pumpkin from its slab had googly eyes, and suddenly, to my surprise, they did the pumpkin mash, or more accurately, mashed the pumpkin. These local artists creating a crab with fangs, among several, carving giant pumpkins in Annapolis on Friday. Among those enjoying them, Robin and Donna Schmidt. It's hard to believe that they can carve what they carve. In one day. Yeah, in one day, that's the thing too. Right. The Schmidts are doing a scavenger hunt of the pumpkins scattered throughout the city. This one on Main Street, right near City Dock. Annapolis has eight giant pumpkins this year, four of which, like this one, weigh over a thousand pounds. It's the most the city has had since it started the tradition. Eric Evans runs the Downtown Annapolis Partnership. He says they bid for the pumpkins nine hours away in Pennsylvania and get them all here via truck and forklift. We had six artists. We had two artists who carved more than one pumpkin. Um, but they each came up with their own unique designs. A lot of times can't decide until they see the pumpkin and you know, get a feel for its shape and decide what they want to put on it. The pumpkins weigh anywhere from 300 to 1,700 pounds. Artists have worked since Friday morning to craft their designs, and they draw quite a crowd. Oh, we haven't had any car accidents yet, but there's a lot of head turning and a lot of people going slowly by because they are not used to seeing pumpkins this size. Folks of all ages lining up to see the giant orange wonders and to take pictures, taken aback by the size of the pumpkin and the designs painstakingly carved into it. It's, it's beautiful. We have a great city. A budding fall tradition in the state capital, four years running. In Annapolis, Jack Watson, WMAR 2 News.